Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up really quickly. Uh, it's after five. A few closing thoughts uh, compiled uh, by others here. Uh, first of all, a comment. I, I don't think they're pests anymore. I think it's alternative proteins. <laughs> so uh, there could be some uh, business opportunities here. It's all about branding, folks. Um, so a few quotes, comments. Um, before we run off and uh, eat those alternative proteins. Uh, so uh, Thomas Goss from uh, the UN, I, I can't emphasize enough, I wasn't here this morning, but the sustainable development goals uh, are, are a powerful force for both the private and public sector in addressing some of these things around energy, water, food, and social issues. Uh, his quote is, we live in a world interconnected like never before and we stand before challenges larger than we've ever seen before, uh, that's pretty powerful. Uh, so let's think differently about how we're going to hit those sustainable development goals in 2030. Uh, time goes quickly. Uh, Gothenburg um, in West Sweden is the fastest growing region in Sweden. I did not know that. I tend to just go to Stockholm. 22% uh, of Sweden's R&D investments are made in that region. Significant. Uh, and Sophie Sandberg. Uh, Great quote, we need personalized advice about what we eat. We're all different and our health uh, depends on our diet. Uh, so think about uh, that powerful statement and perhaps how technology can be woven into that. Uh, impossible foods, uh, Patrick uh, Brown, uh, I won't go into the footprint of uh, beef, but uh, one impossible burger, Patty, uh, has 87% less emissions, 75% less water, which is important for me, uh, and uses 95% land. Uh, pretty significant. Uh, tomorrow's food panel, uh, a couple of really interesting, uh, profound comments. Uh, everyone agreed that companies need to take more responsibility and be more transparent to restore trust. Food is about trust. Uh, you need to know where it comes from and know that it's healthy. The um, food industry is going through a, a, a model change because they want to be part of the change and support new systems, new, e new ecosystems. Uh, the food and health panel uh, turned farm to fork around. It should be fork to farm because it's the consumer that decides uh, what is produced. Uh, that's pretty powerful. It's democratizing that choice. Uh, Frederica um, talked about uh, algae, uh, the importance of algae uh, in our world. And uh, the palm oil comment I thought was really profound, uh, just in terms of the impact that palm oil has on the environment and also society. Uh, so I want to watch that closely. Uh, and Klaus Meyer, uh, you heard about the Michelin star. That's an amazing achievement. Uh, but his quote, food can be used as an instrument to improve the quality of life. Uh, lack of diversity does not create anything great. Uh, right now, at this moment in time, I think we need to embrace diversity uh, more than ever. So uh, I think that was an incredibly timely comment uh, from Klaus. Uh, my own perspective on this uh, event, uh, we are headed to a scarcity trajectory in terms of energy, water, and food. And what this event points out is that we don't have to accept business as usual. We embrace business unusual and think about deflecting that scarcity trajectory. So events like this and bringing people together to talk about actions that they're taking is incredibly powerful. Uh, so uh, thank you. Go forth. Thank you. I have no idea how I'm going to take this home, but <laughs> carry on. Thanks again.